Howdy folks, I'm Aaron, welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video is a build video and we are going to be making another gate, but this time it's not a legend brace, we're going to go for a full mortise and tenon job. 3b2, pressure treated, the works. So yeah, stick around if you want to see how. Okay then folks, so I've got these uh, just clamped in my um, in my voice. Uh, I'm just going to mark out now for the mortises. Um, I've got a little, <coughs> got some sizes here. Obviously these are a pair of gates. Um, I've got the sizes here and the sizes are going to relate to the rails that are on the fence already because he wants the rails of the gate to sort of follow through so it looks inverted commas like one um so yeah i'm just going to refer to this we've got seven and three quarters from the top so i'll clamp these together nice and flush i'm just going to put a t on here for top so i know i'm referencing from the same and then we've got seven and three quarters from there and where possible I'm going to try and mark off the face of the same side for everything if possible. And then we've got 26 and a quarter from the top of that rail. Just wear that across. And then we've got 25 and a daughter. It hasn't got to be 100% exact, but I want it something near so it doesn't look out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my uh, pieces. I've got my uh, tenons cut on. I'm going to put this edge of the tenon up against my reference line and just mark it off like that and then square that off as usual and then we do that all the way along but I'll just show you now so you've got your height 
of where you want to put your mortise. Um, it picks out a combi square. Now I did have this set, but get yourself a combi square, mark the center. Can you see that? Yep. Mark your centre, and then if you mark your centre of the tenon, and literally put your two lines together, you just mark the top because you know the top is exact. As opposed to if you run it all the way along, you might be running out a little bit, but just mark your tops like that. And then it does help to have two, two combis um, or some form of adjustable marker just to keep one set at the centre and the other one set it and then you mark that off and then you can change this over to this And there you've got your mortise, which is perfectly centered in the material. Uh, should receive the tenon exact, like that. Uh, just a little note, this is only, literally, this is only a 21 inch gate. There's a pair of them to make uh, 55 with the takeoff for the um, clearance, etc. Um, if it was a wider gate, I probably would have cut um the tenons out so there would have been the shoulder cuts and the horn the haunch cuts as well um and that would have obviously seated in this so you would have had that like that and this shoulder would have gone all the way around that would have given it a lot more strength um because obviously you've got that shoulder there's been no more no movement in any way but this is only small I've got no fear of it shifting and with the 3v2 frame the 3v2 um, brace and it's going to be cladded as well so I don't think there's any movement in it but yeah just take into account if you are making a bigger gate you might want to do that so yeah uh, we'll mark all of these out now in exactly the same way then we'll take it over to the mortiser and we'll chop out the mortises and yeah we can get some glue and assembly on the go and if you don't have the luxury of a dedicated mortiser you can always do these with a uh, force and a bit um, and then a chisel or if you don't even in a drill press if you don't have one of those then I'm afraid old school chisel <laughs> 